Just 10 days after being named the Argonauts' new head coach, Jim Barker has already began to put the pieces in place for the upcoming season, as today he announced eight new members of his coaching staff. Prior to introducing all of the new faces that will help Barker write the ship, there are a couple of familiar faces who Argos fans will assuredly remember or the double blue with pride during their tenures. New defensive backs coach Arlando Steinhauer and new special teams coordinator Michael O'Shea. A four-time CFL All-Star and six-time Eastern Division All-Star, Steinhauer plans on executing what made him successful on the field into coaching and is glad to be back in the city he called home for eight seasons. I'm going to bring me, you know, everybody, my personality, I hope you all hired for who I am and what I bring, right? So, uh, those that know me, those that have worked around me, played against me, they, they know what I'm about. And uh, I'm a team player, and I'm about winning. I'm excited for this challenge to really get this program and bring smiles back to people in Toronto's face. As for O'Shea, who was a five-time East Division All-Star and the cornerstone of the Boatman's defense for 12 seasons, the decision to make the transition from player to coach was not an easy one. Um, when Coach Barker called me, uh, there was still uh, a lot of uh, questions in my mind uh, in terms of what was right for myself and my family. And, uh, you know, I was currently employed with Zimmer, um, which is an orthopedic uh, sales company, and um, with a great team. Uh, I, had, uh, I had a good gig going, as they say. So there was a lot of tough, uh, it was a tough decision. I, um, also, also with the CFL Players Association, it was a tough decision because taking this job, I'm going to have to leave both. Um, but with Bob Nicholson uh, being hired and then Jim Barker, uh, it certainly uh, allowed me to make this decision. Without those two people in place, I'm sure the decision would have been a lot easier and it probably wouldn't have involved the Argos. And as far as Steinhauer and O'Shea feel about whether or not it will be odd for them to stand in plain clothes on the sidelines... Yeah, they better put me in the booth. If they don't put me in the booth, I might, I might have to go suit it. No, my plan's behind me, and uh, these guys, uh, I like what we have in the secondary. I like what we have on defense, which is mainly where I'm going to be associated with. They're going to help out a lot on special teams. Different, yes. Um, won't have any urge, though. Won't have any urge. You know, it's so funny because uh, coaching my son and or, you know, watching my daughter do her, th do my daughters do their things, uh, you get those little, uh, you know, physical twitches where you, you know, come on, you know, do this, oh, oh you know, do that. So uh, I imagine you're going to see some pretty wild uh, contortions on the sideline as I try to help break a tackle, you know, on the sideline as a returner or whatever. So don't focus too much in on that because I'm going to look pretty goofy, I'm sure. But I'm excited. As for the rest of the staff, the one thing that they certainly do not lack is experience. And it all begins with new defensive coordinator Chip Garber who has nearly 30 years of coaching experience and previous CFL experience with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. It's a tremendous game. Uh, uh, when Coach Barker called, I certainly jumped at the opportunity to come back up here. Uh, being a secondary coach down at Hamilton uh, uh, certainly gave me a, uh, uh, a, an outlook of what the offenses uh, bring to uh, to the game, and, and certainly uh, uh, after my year at at, uh, at uh, Hamilton as a secondary coach, you know, I, I thought to be a DB coach you had to have your head examined in this league. But uh, I, I'm excited about uh, being in a place like Toronto. Toronto should be the cornerstone or a cornerstone in the in this league. Uh, it's a tremendous city. They have tremendous history. Uh, certainly with a great cup in, in 04, I believe it was, uh, uh, you know, that, that's not too far removed that people remember the excitement and the, uh, and the passion that, that people had back then. And hopefully that's something we can bring back to Toronto. Jamie Elizondo has the unenviable task of coordinating an offense that ranked last in seven out of a possible 15 offensive categories last season. Elizondo brings with him previous CFL and NFL experience, including being the receivers coach for the current Super Bowl champion New Orleans Saints in 2007 and current Grey Cup champion Montreal Alouettes in 2008. I don't know what happened here in the past. Um, all I can do is look forward, and as we, as we put our nose to the grindstone and get going, um, again, our job is to win games, and uh, our job is to find a way to put the players in the best position possible uh, for them to be successful. Newly acquired wide receiver Jermaine Copeland, along with the rest of the Argos receiving core, will be prepared by a new receivers coach, Kaz DiMatteo. DiMatteo enjoyed a successful coaching and playing career in arena football and was named to the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's All-Century team, along with now Buffalo Bills wide receiver Terrell Owens. Uh, I bring a young perspective to the coaching staff and my arena background, hopefully, uh, 
the motions and uh, things are similar to the CFL, but uh, it's a unique game, and um, I'm going to have to hit the ground running and, and work hard. And uh, luckily, we got a great staff around, and I'll learn a lot from them. And um, hopefully, I'll be a contributor, and we can uh, bring Toronto back to where it needs to be. The offensive line has a new leader in Steve McAdoo. After a three-year hiatus from coaching, McAdoo is back in the CFL after being the offensive line and running backs coach for the Alouettes from 2003 to 2006. Uh, you know, I've, I've played offensive line, I've coached offensive line, I've been in the CFL, you know. Um, I, I think I bring a lot to the table as far as knowing that position and, and how the CFL works. Uh, I'll bring a toughness to my offensive line to make sure that, you know, that when we come out there, we're out there to compete every down. Uh, we're not going to stop until the whistle blows. Uh, so that, you know, that mindset that I bring, I think is very important as for an offensive lineman. New linebacker coach Greg Quick worked in tandem with Barker 26 years ago at New Mexico State University. Quick was most recently the head coach at Concord University in West Virginia from 2003 to 2008. Well, I guess uh, I bring a, a level of maturity and experience, uh, some organizational skills, uh, ability to, to teach, I think, and an enthusiasm for the game. Uh, so I think each of the people on this staff are very unique. If you get a chance, once you get a chance to meet them, there's really every single one. It's a very eclectic group, and every single one of these individuals has a, has a different role. It's, it's not a place where you're going to be able to unplug. You know, if you took uh, Steve McAdoo out of the equation, you can't, you know, plug Greg Quick into that spot. That's Steve McAdoo is that, has that role on this staff. And I think Jim's done just a wonderful job of assembling a group of guys that every single one of them, you know, adds something uh, to, a, to, the, to the group. Also added to the mix but not able to attend was defensive line coach George Dyer, who has simply been described by colleagues as iconic in his 39 years of coaching experience. And looking back at the changes being made on this team in the past week or so, one cannot help but begin to believe that the Boltmen are now headed in the right direction towards the top. For Argos TV, I'm Adam Orico.